promo video, I promised that I would make a one pan dinner. And so I'm coming back to make good on that promise. Today I'm going to show y'all how to make tuna casserole. This is something real easy that I like to call a dump recipe because honestly, you just take all the ingredients, you dump them in the pan, and then you slide it on into the oven. So, if you want to see how to make a one pan dinner, just keep watching. First, you're going to get um, a pot of water, make sure that it's boiling, go ahead and get your pasta started. After the pasta is cooked, go ahead and add it straight to your bowl after you've drained it off. Yeah, make sure you get all the pasta out. And then you can go ahead and dump in the can of mushroom soup. And it's optional, you can use cream of celery or whatever you like. Um, I personally just like cream of mushroom. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and add your mixed vegetables. Okay, so the amount of mixed vegetables is up to you. There's no real science. Like I said, this is a dump recipe. You literally just dump everything in there. Next, you're going to go ahead and dump in your tuna. Now that you've got the basics in there, you've got the noodles, you've got the tuna, you've got the cream of mushroom, and you've got the vegetables, it's time to go ahead and season. So you saw the bread is going in there, the onion powder, the garlic powder. Um, now that you've got your seasonings, you're going to want to make sure you mix that up and make sure you mix it thoroughly. Make sure that everything is coated. So you just kind of have to mix it till it looks right. I went ahead at this point and added a little bit of cheese to um, the dish and that is optional. If you don't want to add cheese, it'll still taste delicious, but you know, I like a little cheese, so we'll put that in there. And then you want to do a, a little quick taste test to make sure that it tastes right. And when you're satisfied with the flavor of the pasta, you can go ahead and move on to the next step. So now in a glass pan that does not need to be uh, greased or sprayed with anything, you just go ahead and dump all of your um, casserole mix into the pan. And once you've got that in there, just go ahead and you're going to put down a layer of cheese. And the amount of cheese, again, is completely up to you. Put on as much as you like or as little as you like. Follow the layer of cheese with a layer of breadcrumbs. Um, and you just kind of want to spread that out evenly um, and make sure that all the corners and everything is covered. So in your preheated oven that's at 350 degrees, you're gonna go ahead and put in your casserole. And on the video, you see that I start my timer at 25 minutes but I found that more like 30 to 40 minutes actually allowed the casserole to completely bake. Um, depending on your oven, that's really up to you. But that's it, folks. Take it out, and you should have a beautiful tuna noodle casserole.